Hello everyone. There have been a lot of great improvements to our customer marketing tool lately, so I thought I'd make a video showing you some of the new flow changes. This video is going to show you how to create an email campaign in under 10 minutes with our drag and drop editor. This video is also going to assume you already have your account set up for the most part. That is, you already have customers in your list of contacts and have used customer marketing within Shipping Easy in the past. For information on how to get started from scratch, visit the customer marketing section at shippingeasy.com slash guide for additional help. So let's take a look at what creating an email looks like in this brand new Shipping Easy customer marketing tool. As usual, emails come in two types, regular and automated. I'm going to show you how to create both of them, so let's get started with the regular campaign. Hover over marketing on the blue bar at the top and select email campaigns. Then in the upper left here, select create campaign. Now the difference between a regular campaign and an automated campaign is who it goes to and when. Regular campaigns are sent to a list of multiple customers and are sent immediately upon creation or scheduled for some specific time in the future. Automated campaigns are different in that they're sent to individual customers when specific conditions are met, such as making their first purchase from your store or spending a certain amount of money. We're going to go with regular first, so I'll click that, give it a name here, once we have it named, we're dropped into the new creation flow. Step one is to select a template. I can choose the themed template from our gallery of beautiful pre-made templates with the type filter on the left side. Or I can choose a blank layout, which is more like an email format, with pre-arranged parts that can be edited more easily. You can also edit a previously sent campaign, or just start completely from scratch. Let's choose a template here. I'm going to go with this one because I like this dog wearing a fake mustache. I can hit preview to get a closer look, and if I like it, I can just hit select in the bottom left here. So when I hit select, it takes me to the next step, which is content, and drops me into our newly updated email editor. As you can see, the email is divided into individual parts, and each one is editable within itself. I can drag new parts where I want them to be from the sidebar here. Just drag and drop, then click Edit. If I wanted to add an image, I'll just drag it in, click it, upload the image, and boom, image added. I can click Social Media Object and add whichever one I wanted. Once you have your email designed to how you want it to appear to your customers, click Save and Continue. And that takes us to step three of the creation process, Audience. Regular campaigns are sent to customer lists. This page contains any list previously created and the ability to create a new list. I have a list of customer email addresses I want to send to, so I'll click Paste in Emails and paste them all into this field. Then scroll down and give the list a name and hit Create List. If I wanted to add it to an existing list, I could check the name above and it will get automatically added. Either way, make sure at least one list is checked here, either an existing one or the new one we just created. Then scroll down and hit the Add Customers button, then click this link at the top of the page to return to your campaign. Then I can click the list I just created and it takes us to step four, Confirm. On the left side, I make sure the reply to email, the display name, and the subject line are correct. Once I have that sorted, I determine whether I want to send this campaign immediately, or if I want to schedule it for a later date or time. I'll go ahead and schedule this one so I can show you the tips we have to scheduling emails. The helpful tips advise that I schedule this between Tuesday and Thursday at 11 a.m. I hit schedule and there you go. I'll be able to edit this email up until the send date if I choose. Then of course once the campaign is sent, we show you statistics about it. How many people it was delivered to, how many opened, how many reported as spam, and how often the links inside were clicked. So that's a regular campaign. Let's take a look at our automated campaigns now. Again, we hover over marketing on the blue bar at the top and select email campaigns. Create campaign in the top left and select automated this time. 
The automated campaigns are split into two categories, increase sales and build relationships. Increase sales campaigns include abandoned cart email for specific platforms, buy it again reminder if the product you sell needs to be refilled, or lapsed customer win back to target customers you haven't heard from in a while. All these campaigns have the goal of driving direct sales. Build relationships emails are things like order confirmation and product feedback requests, things that keep the wheels greased between you and your customer and lead to more sales over time. I want to reach out to my first time buyers, so let's make one of those emails. I'll select my template. The editor works exactly like it does for normal campaigns. I drag my sections and edit them. Once I'm done, I'll hit save and continue. And step three, audience, is the main place automated emails differ from regular. We create what's basically like a shipping rule, but for our emails. I've got conditions I can set at the top that govern when this email is sent. Then I can delay it using the schedule section below. In this case, if the customer is a first time buyer, this email is sent immediately after Shipping Easy receives the order. If I wanted, I could add another condition like order total, or I could adjust the email to be sent once the order is shipped or delivered. But when I'm happy with my rule, I click Review Campaign, adjust the reply email, the display name, and the subject line again. Then hit Activate Campaign. Now it runs in the background and sends the email to customers that meet the conditions of the rule. How cool is that? I can still see the metrics for automated campaigns just like the regular, but now I have the option to pause and reactivate the campaign as well. So that's the basic overview of our new CM features. For a more in-depth look, check out the customer marketing section of our getting started guide at shippingeasy.com guide.